love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. That roaring lion of Zion is roaring for his pride. And I'm talking about the gay pride because all are forgiven according to his kingdom age word. And if they're condemning themselves, they're condemning themselves for no damn good reason because he condemns us not as long as we keep our love alive. So know that when it comes to the rights of LGBT people, uh, it's time that love is standing tall. And uh, it's time for equal pay and gender equality and, and racial inequality uh, to go away. Um, so it's time for equality at all intersex. Uh, and uh, we don't need to pick and choose. The, the true and the false cannot be intertwined no longer. The wheat and the tares cannot grow together any longer. <clears throat> For God says unto all people under the rainbow flag, he says, I am your God, and I have you in the palm of my hand. And he says, you are my beloved, you are my blessed, and you are my adored, and he loves us. And the most important thing for everyone is, is not the object of love, but the emotion itself, because it is that emotion that makes us good even when we're sleeping. Even though the Bible clearly says there is no good man, no, not even one. Christ living in us uh, is what keeps us as a little child if we will but love even our enemies. Uh, you don't have to like people. I, 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 I've, I, I, when I was 16, I w was arrested for a murder I did not do, and I was thrown in jail, and I got out, and I sat down with the guy that actually killed uh, the w woman. It was the, the husband, and we were talking about Christ. And guess what? Uh, I knew that he knew that I knew that he did it. And he knew that I knew that he, you know what I mean. So, but one thing for sure, the Lord is now bringing forth transcendent transformation uh, that will be totally uh, tremendous. And it's the time to yell out love louder than ever because gay rights are human rights and racism must end on planet Earth. And so know to be fully seen by somebody then and, and then to be loved anyhow uh, as a human being, as a, it's an offering that it can border on the miraculous if we will just see the inner person of love within. We are all fearlessly and wonderfully made in the image of love whom is Christ the Lord. Every knee will bow down to the name of love, Christ's name, the secret name of Mark 4. Nobody's bowing down to the name of Jesus. Nobody. Uh, it's a distortional false God, a uh, God of condemnation over everyone that when none has existed, uh, a God who is not the Christ of the Bible, the good shepherd of all the flocks of man, a God who's not the God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27, a God who is a respecter of men only loves the Christians best. No, no, no. Now comes the shattering of the power of the holy people. If anybody out there has any brains, you're going to switch leaders now. Forget Morg because he'll never get you anywhere but an early death. And I will win that uh, uh, debate hands down. So let me really be clear. Uh, I am proud to be straight and you need to be proud to be gay. And I, I never thought I would hear myself saying that because I was a racist most of my life. And I consider being uh, gay uh, one of the greatest gifts that God has given many. And, uh, you know, it's the kind of thing where the condemnation has arisen. And I understand why. And I understand that the Bible says that we were seeing through a glass darkly, only knowing in part, only understanding in part. Only now may the wise shine as the stars. Watch my video, two videos down uh, with um, this uh, background here with uh, lights on it. You will be amazed. I will prove to you my identity in that video. So uh, we all need to, uh, we deserve to experience love fully, equally, without shame and without compromise. 
And in loving, we got to celebrate every step. Uh, and that is how it was meant to be. So maybe um, maybe we can stop trying so hard uh, to, to understand things that uh, have seemed so complicated when the truth has always been out there. And the word of God was not discerned correctly because the covenant of uh, God was given not to all mankind as it is addressed in Jeremiah 32 27 Christian stole the blessing uh, from Israel the sin of Esau and then they said we are Israel and all the prophecies for us they stole the identity and they were never Israel it's always been bullshit and so in this hour we need to arise and uh, embrace the golden rule and as we do, we need to live humbly and show mercy. And we need to work for justice for all actions as those are demonstrations of our love that comes forth unto all the yielding uh, to the sweetest fruit of the Spirit patiently. In fact, Christ the Lord, uh, he said that his people of love um, by their greatest actions could be identified by their actions pity the poor world when good people will do nothing like ever uh, liking any of my videos I've been preaching to thin air for two years uh, one thing for sure know that love does not condemn love uh, or diminish others since love doesn't seek to deny justice or dignity or safety unto anyone nor has our Lord of love ever suggested that anyone is unworthy of or beyond the reach of love aside from Vladimir Putin who is the true Antichrist Morgan official you are just the lawless one uh, who would bring us to an early death by your distorted understandings obsolete understandings these are the days of Hebrew 8 and all the Bible declares all religion is now obsolete for the perfect one world religion of the unconditional love of God is here and now this is the forget uh, religion of unconditional forgiveness which he has promised in the Word of God written clearly and plainly and so uh, the vision was written plainly on the tablet so all those who would hear it read would run it's time for the weak to get away from the terrors I, I, I the Lord commands all people of love to run run fast away from religion and so in this hour realize that uh, it's time that even Putin he has revealed himself as the Bible's unloving Antichrist, the king of the north of Daniel 11 that has invaded the king of the south. And that great bear has arisen chewing on three ribs, Crimea, Donetsk, and Luhansk. And now they've annexed a fourth. And the bear has heard the word, now you may go eat all the flesh. Soon all of mankind, if we will not stand together, will have to go under the dens of the rocks, into the caves. All of us living underground, the Bible says, the kings, the servants, the slaves, the these of those and uh, that is our destiny according to the Word of God because uh, then Zachariah's time will come forth eyes will consume away in the socket tongues consume away in the mouth and in the battles of slaughter then uh, the flesh will consume away instant and then there'll be seven horny women for one horny man and then talk about sexuality going ballistic Isaiah 4 predicts this and that would happen but praise God God wants to cut these days short Matthew 24 22 or else all flesh would perish he said if that counts for anything so the most important verse in the Bible is Jeremiah 30 24 for our Lord God Almighty he says with no winking he says I shall return my fierce terrifying anger if my people of love gay straight anyone who will keep their love alive as a child if they will give me the desire of my loving heart to be loving to us other people without conditions to love them where they're at and realize that everybody's hurting everybody is is uh, twisted in their understanding nobody's elevator goes all the way to the top all the time no one has a, 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 a monopoly on wisdom mr. morgue 
uh, don't be Mr. Death. I challenge you publicly again and again. People are going to leave you because they're going to realize, man, our leader is a coward. Uh, and so in this hour, we need to understand that uh, the Lord has never suggested that anyone is unworthy of his love. He loves us all equally. But all those who will be cast out into the darkness of, of utter lovelessness, they shall be thrown into hell's most fervent fires exactly as it is written until they perish uh, as they enter the land of the walking dead and end up in the gross darkness of lovelessness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth and know that the Lord has become like a, a, a people like like the lawless one and the Antichrist Putin uh, boy uh, Morg is right up there with Putin did you guys ever see that coming Morg is the one of Revelation 13 that would die by a sword. He is the Antichrist wannabe who isn't. Uh, that's why he's got the 666 in his Hyperion symbol. And realize that Morg, he is becoming more and more Mr. Morgan Knight, like a desensitized frog uh, that eventually becomes a cooked goose and a dead duck uh, because the flame is just low enough. Uh, poor little frog, he doesn't realize he's cooking just as morgue official is cooking under the refiner's fire that I am setting personally. Christ has cast his fire upon morgue official and he's watching to make sure it burns and he is consumed there and uh, so that he doesn't be like a stupid frog never jumping out of the pot since such a stupid toady like morgue official could never realize that he's being slowly cooked alive and that is what my attack on morgue official will do is unplug him from the masses so let the wise know that the bible declares in jeremiah 32 27 that the lord god is clearly the loving lord of always over every single loving person ever born who keeps their love alive as a child and nor can it ever be denied that the old testament is clearly obsolete as muhammad predicted uh, would come to pass uh, because he said my people will belong to another that sounds like islam because of a book proving god's mercy upon all mankind and uh, it will remove all distortionalities israel's new name now that they have received the covenant of jeremiah 31 1 in the latter days as it is written now they have inherited all mankind isaiah 54 3 and they are chrislam and uh, that is to be the new name of islam because uh, all mankind is chrislam whether people know it or not so it's time to realize that the death penalty for crimes of homosexuality murder attacking parents kidnapping failure to confine dangerous animals witchcraft sorcery sex with animals doing uh, work on sabbath incest adultery homosexuality prostitution uh, priest daughter uh, false prophecy death for perjury in capital places and false claims of women virginity death for that it was all obsolete that was a law that uh, was only looking through the glass darkly there was no grace and this was in the not the perfect will of God but in the allowable will and he called Moses to keep his mystery that he has always been uh, unconditional love not loving us adoring us deeply devoted unto us this is the mystery of revelation 10 7 the first is last the last is first and the seventh trumpet has sounded off first and now all nations and all people all people are now the lords and so in this hour let the wise wanting to shine as the sun let them now understand that the richest beauty of kingdom age spirituality is now coming forth if people will try to understand it and uh, understand it they they must uh, so it's time uh, that our beloved Lord of all people is calling to all LGBT uh, to proclaim truth and beauty of of his loves 
uh, of his love's unconditional nature, and many of you are witnesses to this, uh, since he is now bringing forth the redemption of sexual brokenness in the lives of everyone walking by divine love's brightest light of hope eternal. And I am Elijah of the Latter-day Daniel. More your days are numbered. Uh, and know that all LGBT souls really needs God's truth of his eternal love and forgiveness. And we all, without exception, all deserve to know the most loving compassion of Christ since the depths of his bottomless love can only be fully experienced in a climate of complete openness unto love and not to be closed off anymore, to be open to honesty and to be open to vulnerability. And his spirit of prophecy is also stressing that openness may not completely disarm the prejudicial uh, of race, spiritual racism, but it's a very good place to start since the equality of his deepest bottomless love has given us all means much more uh, than just passing laws. For the struggle of all unloving racism is, is huge. And uh, the Lord wants to reverse the curse and turn back the battle at the gates of hell. And the Lord will do it in this hour. And so it's time that we get with love's program as we embrace each other in love. And so in this time of Elijah, uh, know <clears throat> that the, e the equality of his love has given us all something beautiful and so that we can know once and for all and drill it into our heads again and again even if we repeat it unnecessarily uh, we'll know that the struggle of unloving racism is really one in the hearts and the minds of obedient people of love who will lean not unto their own understandings, but submit unto Christ's love and judge not that they be not judged. Uh, as it is written, it's time to quit judging one another. For forgiveness is now coming to waylay our differences. Uh, because if loving gays to transsexuals, whatever they are, and all my brothers of other mothers, if they all had to wait for other people to validate their existence, it would only mean that they would be short changing themselves big time. And for the Lord has made no junk, and we are all standing as children of his love if we have it on, uh, if we have our love flame on. And if you don't, be like Johnny Torch. Be a flaming gay. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. If you're going to be a gay, be a flaming gay. Be a passionate gay. Be gay. Gay used to mean happy. And I think more people need to be happy, even if they turn gay. I don't give a damn, and neither does God, according to his law of love. And it's now imperative that everyone's freedom and humans' rights are respected all over the world so that our golden age of the lion and the lamb can come forth upon the great white cloud of Revelation 14, where Christ is now sending forth his everlasting gospel of which I am the writer. So let all people out there, let them pray uh, for those especially in Russia, since the world's new Vlad the Impaler has really cut the earth a huge new one, since their unloving leader, uh, who is Antichrist, views those of the rainbow pride uh, as monstrous, uh, and he will become another Hitler and strike against uh, all that is born of love, unfortunately. He's the one in two th 2013 that passed his gay propaganda law. And so it's time that spiritual racism needs to die. And so love, from love unto all my sisters of other mothers. Uh, and I don't care if you're an effeminate man or a masculine uh, woman. God loves yellow, black, and white. All are precious in his sight. And all of you are precious. All the Ellen DeGeneres, all the Rock Hudson's, all the uh, uh, Freddie Mercury's of the world, all the Elton John's, all of them. And you know what? Uh, my favorite singer is probably Elton and uh, Freddie. 
And, uh, oh, I love David Bowie, too. Oh, don't get me going. Oh, by the way, okay, I'm done. Uh, by the way, please uh, listen to my music video. It's called uh, Pink Floyd's Welcome to the Machine under this channel. And please watch uh, Marco Polo, uh, Punch and Daniel Alley, Marco Polo, to hear a T-Rex description of uh, 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 dinosaurs. Uh, you could Google uh, T-Rex blood cell and see the blood cell in the T-Rex vein. How old is that? And don't miss my video on entombed animals where they supposedly come out after 50 million billion years. People, this earth is old and new at the same time. Adam and Eve had no belly button. They were made as adults, into adults. And in the same way, the earth was made ancient on day one. This earth is under 6,000 years old. It's provable. And uh, all the uh, uh, the evolution is crap. You can't, can't get a, anything from a toad except a toad. DNA proves that by science. You can't get a frog from a toad unless you uh, mate the toad and the frog, and then you can get a, a fode or a trog. I don't know, uh, whatever it's called, wicks in my merge. But you cannot, uh, evolution charts show a fish becoming a lizard and that becomes a badger and that becomes a woolly mammoth and all that bullshit. Darwin recanted fully his uh, a theory. He said it's totally ridiculous to even consider that an eye with the intricacies of focus could just evolve into itself as an eye. And he says he said that I let it out of the bag and it became like a wildfire and he regretted it because it stripped a lot of uh, truth away. But uh, the truth is now being restored. I am Elijah who has restored all truth. The truth that all of you gay people are loved deeply, adored deeply, and his charity is deep over you. And uh, so cry out unto your love. Reject the Jesus of religion because he is the devil. Actually, no, the devil has been removed for a thousand years because he was the accuser of the brethren day and night before the Lord, telling the Lord all about our sin. But how, honestly, logic and reason, how logical is it that God could tell us, I'm going to forgive your iniquity and never remember it. And if he remembered it, remember, he would be a liar. If he remembered it, he would be a liar. So how could God not remember it if Satan is right there? I am the latter day of Daniel 12, 13, and Satan has been removed, Daniel 12, 1. And the shattering of the power is now, Daniel 12, 7, because God's damn word was only closed until Elijah came, who would prepare his way by Christ's own word. And if his the great restoration of Acts 3, 21 does not come, our carpenter of the ages can never return, as it is written in Acts 3.21. Peter said so, and I believe the Bible. Christians sure as hell don't. Uh, they jump up and down. Jesus coming back now. Jesus coming back. Shoom, shoom, shoom. Yep, yep, yep. Shoom, yep. Coming back. Yep, yep. No, he's not. This earth is going to be toast. Death awaits us. Nothing but death. Deuteronomy 18.18. 18, Acts 3. Uh, nothing but total desolation and total destruction. Malachi 4.6. Uh, total oblivion of earth. No birth no fish, no mankind left. Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, the earth dead, never to rise again in pieces. Isaiah 24, and Jesus said, unless these days were cut short by his word, uh, that no flesh could survive. So gays, it's up to you to start spreading God's word because the, the religious people will not. They're all assholes and they all got uh, stuff in their ears. They're the ones David Bowie talked about as shallow as a glass of water. I am, on the other hand, I am Hyperion. Choo, choo, choo.